Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam or Burns and welcome to NCAA 14. I haven't posted too much for this because I have been waiting uh, for the Operation Sports rosters which have just been released uh, on the forums. You can go ahead and go find them. Um, and yeah, so we're go ahead and starting this dual dynasty that Straight Outta Boston and I planned. Uh, Georgia State, South Alabama, it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I, I've been just so excited to start this. It's really the main thing I've been wanting to play. I've been holding myself over with Ultimate Team, but it hasn't quite been enough. I've been playing around with Dynasty, trying to just figure some stuff out, and I'm finally ready to get this going. So Coach Sam Burns of the South Alabama Jaguars, we're going to get this going here. And uh, basically how this this is going to work, uh, you know, I'll post my games on my channel, obviously. Boston will post his games on his channel. And if you're curious enough to watch both, you can do that. I hope you do, because it, that's the main point of this. It makes the series more interesting, and it just makes it more fun to play. But, um, yeah, so I chose the Boise State Offensive Playbook and the 3-4 Multiple Defense. And we're playing on Heisman Offense and All-American Defense. Um, if need be, we'll bump up the defense to Heisman. And if it's still too easy from there, if it ends up being too easy, we'll, uh, you know, we'll get some sliders and, you know, try to see how that works. But... For now, that's what we're playing on. Default sliders, uh, seven-minute quarters on Heisman offense, All-American defense. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, I've, I've played around with it. I've played around, you know, I've played a couple games actually in the Dynasty already. And, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So, this is mainly just a setup video, uh, intro video. Uh, Boston should have his intro video up tomorrow sometime. And then our first games uh, from week one will be up tomorrow also at some point. So... Yeah, that's going to do it really for the settings part of this. And we're just going to move on to me, you know, uh, adding some recruits to my board and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm not sure how long this dynasty is going to end up going. Uh, we're hoping, you know, depending on certain variables, we're hoping to go five or six years. Uh, that, I think that'd be awesome. It'd be, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely tough to go more than that, uh, especially, you know, NCAA 15. Like, if there, if there was no NCAA 15 coming out, and we just stuck with this, I'm sure we could go quite a ways, because it's something that I'm really, you know, interested in keeping going. But, you know, with new games comes new series, so we'll see how long this uh, series ends up going. And hopefully it does go a while. But, uh, yeah, so I just got a notification that the Bucks amnesty drew good, and no one cares. But, anyways, we're just gonna, you know, go uh, set up the recruiting board, really, and... You know, do the, the coach skills, and yeah, so those are the two main additions, though, in NCAA 14 Dynasty. You got your coach skill tree, you know, helps you on and off the field recruiting-wise and, you know, gameplay-wise. And then you have your your new recruiting, just allocating points, which I really like, actually. The uh, old recruiting system was very time-consuming. Um, you no, know, I didn't mind taking the time to do it, but I found myself a lot of the times just... Just skipping it because I didn't want to actually take the time because the interface actually took you know a lot of time and with the new point allocation system you still have to put strategy into it I mean you can just dump your points wherever if you feel like it but you still do have to put your strategy into it and you still have to actually you know think about what you're doing uh, because that's just how it's gonna that's just how it works so I love the new recruiting system it's actually it's a huge improvement over how it was in past years and the coach skills tree is awesome too it gives more of a you know role-playing element uh, you could say it to the game, you know, lets you basically uh, cust customize your coach more, I guess you could say. You know, he's going to be good in certain areas and uh, not as good in other areas, which I think is a really cool addition to the game. Um, and plus, you can, you know, control the, the uh, upgrades or skill trees for your coordinators too, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm looking at my defensive coordinator. But uh, yeah, so I really love the coach skill tree and I really love the new recruiting. I think it adds a lot to Dynasty. Um, you know that was there but just needed to be improved like especially the recruiting the, the recruiting was a pain in the ass and has always been a pain in the ass uh, you know for the past few years so we're just adding some recruits to our board here uh, some outside linebackers we're looking at um, you know Anthony Franklin right there Jerome Harley and then looking at some middle linebackers we added some guys and then some cornerbacks uh, we're first on that three-star corners board so we'll definitely be going after him and then you see third on that corners board but georgia state's first on him watch out straight out of boston and i'm going after this punter who had who can apparently run a 4 3 8 40 because who doesn't want punters that are you know faster than your running backs so there's nothing better than that 
And now we're just gonna add some athletes to our boards because athletes are always good to have because they can really be converted into anything. And uh, I went through and redshirted some players. Just here's a few I redshirted. I redshirted Caleb Blanchard, uh, you know, a, a running back. And then I redshirted uh, a, wire, a wide receiver here. You see at the very bottom of my board, um, what's his name? Broad Nax, I ended up redshirting him. But yeah, I ended up redshirting him, and now we're just gonna go ahead and scout some guys. But this video is starting to come to a close. Uh, you know, no no gameplay yet. Uh, just, you know, scouting some guys. Paul Lee, a quarterback from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's that's the main thing, Jake Neverman. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Look for week one uh, tomorrow. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.